Hey guys, this is Tasha. I'm coming back in with another video. If this is your first time, welcome. If this is not your first time, thank you so much for coming back in. As promised, I'm coming in to talk about one of my favorite embroidery tools that I absolutely love to use in my embroidery studio. But before I start the video, I just want to give you a heads up because while I was recording this, I was also stitching. So you'll hear my machine in the background. So please just regard that. So if you want to know what that tool is, hang in there. We're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so just wanted to show you all this up close. Because sometimes the machine, I don't know if you can see this. See that loop in the design right there? There's one, and then there's another small one right here. It's a very small one. So this is a, a tool that I like to use to take care of those loopy threads. It's called a snag nabbit. I'll link this down in the description box. It looks like a needle on one end with a sharp, with a pointy end there. And then on the other side, it's kind of ridges on there. So what you'll do, you'll take the this end and insert it into the design on the edge of the design. You don't want to go through the middle of your design because this end right here will pull the thread down. But if you do it too many times through your design, it'll stretch your design. So you don't want to do it a whole lot of times, but you want to be pretty on point about where you insert it into the design. Here's the loop right here. I just like to go on the side of it. Just kind of loop it. And just take it down on side of the letter here. And you will just push it through. Pushing it through. I'm going to use this because I don't want to catch it with my thumb and end up going underneath my fingernail. So I'm just pushing it through there. And then you just reach up under the other side of the design and just pull it through. You see, it pulls that thread down in there. Okay, so again, this is a good tool that I think you should have. Well, I, I recommend that tool because it'll save you. And here's another one right here. I'll go ahead and just pull it down. Kind of go through that loop there. And just push it down. And again, I don't want to push it with my thumb because I don't want that to slip and go underneath my fingernail. Just pull it through and it pulls the thread down and it's gone. 
So then after you finish with it, it comes with a little sleeve. So you want to just put it back inside that sleeve so you don't lose it. I stick it on with a piece of tape on the chair rail here in my shop. That way I always know where it is. So you just want to put it back in that sleeve. You just put it where you know where it is for next time. Alrighty guys, thank you all so much for watching until the end. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to turn on your notifications. And until next time, bye for now, but see you in the next video. Bye-bye.